Welcome to Gear Up and on today's episode we're going to look at my mangrove jack season this far. We're going to look at rods, reels, lures, a little bit I'll talk about the electronics that I've been using and you'll probably see me and Emmett also arguing. So I hope you enjoy, let's get into it. So quickly, we'll just run through the gear that I've been using this year and I will continue to use. So, Akuma gear, as always, I'm using, and my main setup is the Akuma Komodo. Brilliant reel, it's, it's just a tank, so I, I love it. I run 50 pound on it and that way I can match the leaders anywhere from 30 up to 50, uh, matching, matching the line. I have Bionic X9 on that, which is, I, I love that line. It's probably not as finesse as others, but it holds. I've never ever had any dramas with it. So I love that. And then I've just introduced a new bait caster, and that is the Akuma gear again, the new Haikai, which is a super finesse reel, which somehow has nine kilos of drag. So you get to break that one in on a jack. However, myself and Emmett have hooked a few barra up into the mid, you know, mid 60s to mid 70s and it's handled it really, really well. So this far in the season, that's all I've been using and mostly using with that are uh, hard bodies. So I haven't really got into the plastics yet. So in this little clip, start of the season, I'm just gonna run through the hard bodies I've been using and we'll throw up a few raw clips. So we'll throw up the first one now. It's myself and Emmett. We, Emmett's still learning, so generally uh, we'll go out and depending on the area that we're fishing, I will let him use the rods, I encourage it, but sometimes I've got to grab the reel and rod and then we go cast for cast. So I'll have a cast, you know, get my enjoyment and then I'll cast for him. And the reason I'm casting, like he's starting to learn how to cast and he's getting better and better, which is awesome. But as you know, if, you, if you're fishing for jacks, then casts have to be accurate. And sometimes when you've only got, say, a fallen down, Oh, let's put a T piece in, say a big, a big log falling down, and you've got to land it in the middle, and you've only got a certain amount of time with the current and the tide moving to work a certain area. So I try and cast it out for him the best I can and get him to him real quick. So let's have a look at uh, one of the clips now. You'll see us arguing. We we get an, a, a jack actually, and it's funny because we were going cast for cast, and then he decided, he, and you'll hear him say, "Oh." I, Dad, you can have another cast and he, he gets a little bit upset but uh, it's the first jack that he's ever seen up close uh, he has hooked him when he was smaller but that's a whole nother story so we'll roll on that clip now and we'll come back to you and I'll show you the lures that I've been using so far <laughs> Oh my god! Come here, Oh! I know what's a big fish. Hold it up. 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 Hold Hey, hey, that was alright, mate. In your eye, in your eye. Big jack. Oh, 
Look at him. That's all you want to get you, man. Wow. A little bit of teamwork. We've been practicing and it's just been a little bit unlucky to um. You're not getting get all the fish. Every time you have a go. I said have one more go. I shouldn't have yeah. said that. Just, I said have one more go. I shouldn't have yeah. said that. Just click that, please, the bar one. So this is a beautiful big jet. Go. No, I'm not going yet. Okay. Hey. Wow, this is a big fella. <laughs> Oh, that's the second one. See how they're a lot more angrier? Can you hold that, please? Okay, don't pull it too hard because it's in his eye. So, I'm just gonna... Oh, look, so we've got that out. So that's on um, that Komodo setup again. I've caught a hell of a lot of fish on this setup. And there's a little suspended hard body. Wait, did he eat that hook? The hook, it, it was that sharp, off. it got in its eye. Oh, the so, it broke off. 50 pound on 40 litre. Okay, lures. So I will roll some clips above so you can get a good look at them, but I've got some on my lap here. So we'll start with the Ever Faithful Lucky Crafts uh, pointer. Always use these for a very, very long time. I haven't had much luck on them lately, So, but in the years gone by, I have caught fish on these. So check that out with this clip and then, so that's the large one and then we've got the smaller one. Sorry I'm not up with all the lingo all the time but uh, the smaller one I will be using a bit more as a finesse bait if the bite's a little bit shut down. Well that's what I'm guessing and that's my thoughts on it. Again if you think any different or can you give me a scenario just write in the comments below. Okay this big sucker here, I'll put the clip up above it also, is and it's a funny story to this lure. This is a lethal lure. Um, again, sorry, I'm sure on the size, but go check them out. I was up the creek last year and I had one lure. Um, this is before I had my new boat and that. And I, I had a, I think it's a, a redding. That's right, yeah. So I had one up and I was like, yeah, this is awesome. I love this lure. Started casting, 10 minutes in, I lost it. So I was up the creek literally without any other hard bodies and I didn't have a lot of gear, it was like a quick trip, I just jumped in the boat with my rod and had a little bit of time. So I met a new mate up there, Cody, and if you're watching mate, thanks heaps. He threw me out, uh, what did he throw me? He threw me this lure in particular, uh, the lethal lure, and he threw me a jackal. I ended up losing the jackal. Uh, ever since then, that was last season, this lethal lure sometimes doesn't uh, leave my, my setup. It has caught me a heap of fish and it just come from nowhere. You know, super sharp hooks, um, more barren than jacks, but thanks mate. So I've been throwing that one and uh, it's really big bib. You'll see on the footage and if I'm fishing in a deeper area where I can see a snag pile, I'll throw that down and really kind of wake them up. Now, at the start of this season, well, the warmer months, as it got warmer, when I decided I wanted to chase jacks, I went out and bought a heap of these hard bodies. And the one that I have never ever used before, and it is, I'll tell you, it is a realist jerkbait 100DR. That lure hasn't left my right. It is absolute dynamite. Uh, you know, first initial, uh, like the initial thoughts when I've got it was, hey, these trebles are too weak. And they were, you know, but I kept rolling them. I caught Barra and then I caught some jacks. So the last two jacks, as you'll see on the footage on this clip, have been caught with this lure. Uh, I think what I like about it is I love everything about it, you know. As you have a look at it, over, the, over I'll put the clip on now. It looks awesome. It's got a really cool action, whereas it's when you, when you roll it, it kind of goes side to side and, and it's a suspending lure. So you're able to throw it in and really search around and and you'll see this clip will roll it in just in a second. I threw this clip in, uh, threw this lure up into a tea piece and a snag, worked it out, and then I was playing around with the active target and it was just suspended and this the jack jumped all over it. So let's roll that clip now and then we'll come back and have a little brief discussion about the active target that helped me that's been helping me find other areas to chase jack.
was on the porch and he nailed that. Oh, nice little jack. Oh well, that's cool. Last day of holidays. Not what I wanted. Beautiful little jack. It's on the Komodo. I was just pulled up and I was watching the active target there. I can see a few fish on the back of this tree here and there was a snag pile in front of it. So I just worked that little all the way to it and got him. Stoked, last day of holidays, can't complain with that. Okay, so just briefly on active target, it's cool. It is literally a little game changer. You know, a lot of, I, I, I've been using the side imaging for years and that's been awesome, but when you combine your side imaging with the active target, it just opens up a heap of new doors. Like, okay, we've all got our local systems. I live on the sunny coast. There's about five or six systems that I'll fish at any any time during the season. And also I'll travel up north. Now all these areas, I mean, they change each year with floods. You get new timbers, new laydowns and everything. And this will just accentuate what you find. Like, I've been able to go through on edges that I've never fished before. I keep the active target on the water and I just point it towards the bank on 15 metres off have a range of 20 metres on that, and then I just start fishing. So I'll be flipping under the mangroves, the shady areas, um, obviously stuff that you can see, but it's what you don't see where you'll potentially have and hold good fish. Uh, like that clip you've just seen there, yeah, you can see this awesome big snag there. Everyone's gonna fish it, you know, on the weekends, during the week, but in front of that snag, and then probably 50 metres before that one and even more, now, there have been snag poles and logs that I've seen off the bank. And when you sit there and you really get a gauge on what you're looking at, look, you'll see heaps of fish. Like, what you don't see under the water will amaze you. Uh, just recently I've been out, and I will roll a little clip on this, fishing areas that I've had sharks circling the boat. Calm as on top. You would never even know, and I've had three to four sharks circling me all day. Two sharks, three sharks, right under my boat. That is crazy. There they are. It's lighting up. There's actually a couple of jewies up here. And there's sharks just circling all around them. So generally when that happens, I'll move on. But you know, back to, coming back to the jacks, I've been able to, yeah, search off the banks, find areas and then Grab the hard body, because I've been using hard bodies pretty much only. A few plastics here and there, but I'll get into them later in another video. And then choose the depth and, and then work these snags. So active target has been absolutely brilliant. So that's coming to the end of this clip. Thanks for watching. I do want to let you know, there's two favourite vids I've been watching lately on YouTube. I put up a few short clips now. Check out Alex Watson. Uh, you know, I just want to give him a shout out because it's really cool. He just went out and dominated on the plastics. And then Owen McPaul from down the Goldie, he um, he hit the canals and got some cracking jacks on hard bodies. So, you know, this is sort of stuff I sit back, you know, when I get some time from work, I sit down and watch the YouTube and they kind of get me pumped up. I haven't chased jacks for a very long time, except for last year I started. And now this year I want Emmett to get his own fish. So. Me and Emmett sit down, we watch these, we get pumped and that'll get us even more keen to get out. Really appreciate you watching. I um, hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next week. I will. Get a good cast in one day. <laughs>